So he's got something new that he's going to tell you about. Jay Boyce. So Vote the Men is a website I'm launching with Matthew, La Matthew Lackwitz, who's going to be speaking in a bit. Uh, essentially, it's a localized philanthropy site where organizations who are seeking funding uh, put up a short video describing what they'll do, and people vote on which uh, are the best, which are the best organizations to fund. Uh, it's a lot like Kiva, which some of you may have heard of, where you can give uh, loans to people who are developing businesses in third world countries, and uh, they will repay you. Um, one of the big problems with Kiva, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's a wonderful thing, but uh, is that you're so far removed from the people you're helping um, that, uh, that you can't really feel the impact that you're making. Uh, you know, you don't see it happen and you don't feel it happen. Uh, so the first thing that, that we want to do with Vote Them In uh, is make it local. Make it so that uh, the, the, the things you're funding, uh, you can actually feel the difference uh, and see, see it as it happens. Uh, so there are some things out there, like justgive.org, uh, where you can do this. You can enter your zip code, uh, and it'll find organizations nearby you uh, who are seeking funding. Uh, the big problem with it, for me, is that when you do enter your zip code, uh, these are results for Boston. So this is page one of 292. Uh, and it's just, to me, it's, it's overwhelming. And I don't know who to fund. And I feel bad about not funding all the people that I can't. Um, so it's, it's kind of like walking into a restaurant uh, <laughs> with, a, with a gigantic menu. And sometimes I just walk out because I have no idea what to order. Uh, it's not in English, which also doesn't help much. Uh, <laughs> So if anybody's ever been to the West Coast, there's a place called In-N-Out Burger, uh, which has four things on the menu. If you like fast food, uh, this is your place. And they're all decent for fast food. Uh, and it's great. You go in there, and you, have, you don't have any decisions to make. Uh, so that's the second thing that we want to do uh, with both them in, is make it very simple. Uh, make it so that uh, there are just a few really good organizations to choose from uh, for, for you to fund as a user. Uh, so uh, things are more fun also when you're a, a group of people, a community of people who are all part of the same thing. And not an individual on the internet, uh, yourself, just yourself funding something. It's more fun if you have people around you doing it with you. Uh, so the third aspect of Vote Men that, that we want to have uh, is a community feel where you uh, are a group of people funding projects. You're not just one person funding a project. Uh, and you can actually get to know the other people who are funding that project. So that recently there was a uh, Murphy Good, a winery, had a job uh, hunt for people. And in order to s apply for the job, you had to submit a short video uh, describing why you wanted the job. I didn't make a video, but I think I watched them all just because it was so much fun. Uh, and so the fourth thing about, for Vote Them In is we want it to be engaging. And right now, video on the internet and short videos are just incredibly engaging, where you can sit there for a minute and watch a kid eat a marshmallow. And, and people, they really enjoy it. Uh, so what's it going to look like? Uh, Vote Them In would be a website. You go on, and there are a few videos uh, for your city uh, of organizations who are seeking funding. Uh, you can watch the videos, or uh, you can read a bit of background information about them. And uh, you can vote on which of the organizations you think should be funded. Uh, and the vote uh, would cost a small amount of money, maybe $2. And uh, you would be putting it into a pool of money with everybody else who's voted. Uh, so if, suppose you have 10,000 voters, which is not uh, by any means out of, out of the range of possibility. That's $20,000 uh, to the winning organization. So the winning organization takes all the money for that month. Uh, so it's a monthly contest, lots of cities, lots of months. And so I, maybe the best way to describe it, and it should have been my first sentence, is it's the American Idol of philanthropy, where you just you vote for who is the best, uh, and, it's, and it's a winner-take-all event. And people love American Idol, and they get into voting, and they'll spend lots of money. Uh, and not only do you get the money, um, but the organizations who, who get funded, or even the ones that don't, can then have a space on the web where they can make uh, where they can keep people up to date on on what's happening with their organization. Uh, so we're going to launch in Boston uh, in the next few months, and uh, and hopefully spread to to the rest of the world. 
Uh, and I think what's, what's really cool about it to me is that uh, it's, it's the communities of each city who are, who are directing where the money's gonna go. Uh, so different communities need, are in need of different things and it's, and it's everybody uh, who are having vote, making votes and making decisions on where the money's gonna go. So, thank you.